welcome back to my channel. I am super duper excited to show you this today. So I had the opportunity to repair a Bible. Now, if you are somebody who uses the Bibles, the Holy Scriptures, y'all know that these things be breaking apart so easily sometimes. And if you use it a lot, like if you use it daily, then even more, <laughs> the more reason why it's like, you gotta really preserve them. So someone came to me with um, one of their favorite Bibles, if not their favorite, and asked me to repair it and I took on the task and I love how it came out. If you're interested in seeing how to repair a book or a Bible, go ahead and keep watching. I do a bunch of different things on this channel. Um, mostly I follow my micro lock journey. So if you are interested, go ahead and check that out. I will try to link it up above. But yeah, I mostly follow my micro lock journey doing hair things because I am a licensed cosmetologist, but I do love DIY projects. Now I'm also an elementary school teacher. So it's just like the, that's just part of the package with most teachers, especially if you do like the younger kids, like you gotta be like arts and crafty. <laughs> so um yeah so they brought this bible to me now they collect bibles so bibles are important to them and at our church we actually have our own bibles that we are kind of like that we print so this was one of the bibles from our church and but it was an older form and it is their favorite bible that they have but it's an older form so it's not like they could really go and get a brand new one the best thing to do was to preserve this one that we had and um yeah so it is definitely nice it's nice it's large print definitely worth preserving now this project took me two days to do and you will see in a video how i had to let things dry and that type of thing so that's what took me kind of so long to do it but Yes, let's get right into it. Let me show you some of the things that I use. Now, honestly, I could have gotten away with using this one thing, but again, they collect Bibles. This Bible was important to them, so I really wanted to just put my best effort in it. This is Book Binding Glue, and it's really good for two reasons, because it dries clear, right? You don't want to see it, and then it remains flexible. Now, I had an alt with this person because, because when they saw their Bible falling apart, they thought, and I don't know why, that they should fix it with electrical tape. Now, y'all tell me, does electricity run out of Bibles? Because if not, why did they use electrical tape? But they did. But one of the problems with using like regular tape and I guess electrical tape and regular glue is that it's not flexible and obviously with the book you open you close it you turn the page just so you need it to move so the good thing about this was that it stays flexible and then on top of that i use this tape this was super important too kind of added as, as an added reinforcement and, and adhesive to it um was the book binding tape so i will link this all down below um yeah this was the tape that I used, and I could have used the white one, but this was like $14. This stuff was kind of expensive um, to get the good stuff. But this, again, was not only durable, but flexible so that the Bible could open and close and move easily. Um, and then one more thing I used. Oh, <clears throat> This was important. If you look at any of your books, you'll see this kind of in the spine. Well, if you are seeing it, that means you need your Bible or your book repaired too. But you'll see this on the spine. So I used this and I think it's called book binding cloth. Everything was book binding. <laughs> book binding cloth. And this, loved, loved, loved this. Again, something that kind of reinforced it because their spine of their Bible came apart, not only detached from the book, but the front cover, and the actual spine part and the back cover was all separate in three different pieces. So I needed to put it all back together. Um, and then this was, I did use scissors. So I just pulled out my sewing scissors and this was super important as well. And this I did when I did the wall. So yeah, if you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. This is one of my favorite projects. Um, but yeah, this I used when I did the wall. It helped me cut, kind of. Uh, it's very, very sharp. So let me stop putting it near my face. Very, very sharp. <laughs> and it helped me cut without having to go like this. Like I could keep the tape down and kind of cut. So yeah, those are all the project, prod, okay. 
those are all the products that I use. Um, yeah, for the most part. And you'll see like a couple of little miscellaneous projects like the water bottle and a rag and things like that. But, whew, yeah, this was a task. But when I was finally done, I loved it so much. So, so yeah, if you when it was done, I just loved it, loved it, loved it. So I was like, I got to share this because I feel like, again, Bibles are one of those things that the covers just love to fall off from. And if you are a book reader, again, you might want to use these as well to kind of repair some of your books. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just kind of showing you what the book is looking like. You can see the residue from the tape, how the middle part of the spine is just completely off. Um, I think it was hanging on by a thread, and I kind of just uh, detached it all the way. This is the glue that we're going to use, but this is how it looks once it's, like, old and tattered. So this glue is also very strong, so it was a really, really strong layer. So, yeah, I had to get all of this stuff off and kind of clean it up. These are some pictures of what it looked like in the beginning. The front and the back. And here is just another shot of, like I said, the glue that I'm going to use, but it built up so much, of course, um, on the spine. So yeah, <laughs> I had to get all of that off. And this is me complaining about this sticky stuff it made it so hard to clean off so yeah i'm gonna get ready to start cleaning this off i use a couple of different things i use wet wipes to do it i used a rag um i even used dawn soap at one point like getting off that glue was like that was the hardest part like no there's one other part that's hard but the glue the glue was it was a task you guys like it was so hard to get the glue off and then you don't want to scrub too hard because i didn't want to like mess up the black part of the cover of the bible and then like i said before so the whole cover just is completely off this book by this point and so yeah i took my time and really cleaned the front and the back as much as i could any straggly pieces of the cover i was debating about keeping it on but you know, I thought it'd just be best to kind of rip them off. I did the spine, too. Of course, I had the most of the tape stuff on there. And then there was stuff all over my desk. So I had to clean that. Now, okay, no, this is the hardest part. Y'all, this is the hardest part. Like, so this took me, uh, I had to keep looking at my own Bible and keep trying to, like, put it together and see how like how to get this in because i needed the book binding cloth to go in between the cover of the book like the actual hard cover and then like the first and then of course the pages of the book but if you look at a book and you can see here how there are pages attached to the cover that's not necessarily attached to the book so i couldn't separate them so i actually had to take those sharp um I don't even know what it's called right now, but it's, it's not the scissors, but the other sharp tool that I was using and kind of cut me an opening in between the pages that were glued to the cover and the actual cover itself and carefully, carefully stick the mesh inside. And y'all, mm, that was so hard because you only are doing like a very, very, like, like less than an inch, probably like a centimeter or two that you're sticking inside the book. So every time I moved it just a little bit, it will come back out before I can even seal it inside. So <laughs> once I got it inside, um, I needed to move the back spine, but I was like, no, I can't risk that. So I just went ahead and laced that part with glue. And because it's mesh, even though I'm on the top here, the mesh went from the top all the way through the mesh into the bottom. So I had to glue that all the way down. And again, trying carefully not to actually pull out the cloth itself. And yet, I don't want it to stick to the back spine. I think what made this part so hard was I needed the book to still be flexible. So I'm going to try to wiggle the spine out here. But I needed the book to be flexible. So it took a lot of measuring um, and kind of making sure that things lined up because I needed them to be able to open their Bible, of course, and the book open easily for them instead of it being so taut and so tight that it would not have opened easily for them. And because I'm dealing with glue, I needed pressure for a lot of things. So I use my Bible and put it on top to kind of sit for a few hours. Um, this stuff was sitting for hours to kind of hold it down before I even mess with it. Now, 
there is this hard glue part there. I could rip most of it off easily, but these part that were left on, that was another thing. It was so hard to get the mop side to use that sharp tool and just keep picking and picking and picking away until I got it all off because I needed it to be free of anything because I wanted it to stick. I needed everything to stick so it couldn't have like old glue still stuck on it. So here I have the glue and a paintbrush and I am just painting the glue on. I'm using a paintbrush because as I was researching how to do it, you know, the paintbrush was going to help it go on kind of smooth and flat, but also allowed me to cover the whole surface. So I put glue directly on the spine of the book. So the glue that I had to take off because it was so old and it was messed up, I put fresh glue back on. Then I lined the book up as carefully as I possibly could. And then I put glue on the outside of the book binding cover as an extra way to make sure that things are really, really sticking. Because I did not want them to come back to me and say that anything was not working or that it fell apart, right? So I made sure that I laced it with glue as much as possible. And I'm just kind of pushing a book back, making sure it's on there as much as possible. And like I said, the covers that I did, either I let them sit overnight once I put the mesh inside of it, the book binding cloth inside of it, or I let it sit for a few hours. I really want to say they were sitting overnight and that's why this took so long. So then I finally put the spine on and I am working to kind of press this down in there and make sure that it is sticking in there as much as possible. And I just saw little pieces of it coming up at the end. So I'm just trying to make this as perfect as possible and push everybody together. Whew, this was a task, ladies and gentlemen. It was a task. So I held on to that for a bit. And then I took two of my huge, huge binders that I have from work um, with plenty of things in it. And I'm going to use those binders to make it kind of stay up. So I'm trying to use all my body weight here <laughs> to press on the book. And then I'm going to use these binders to make the book stand up. And this for sure, I know I had overnight. So the other binder is so big, I couldn't even pick it up. But I needed something heavy because this is a really large Bible. And I needed it to stand on the side. And I didn't want to put something there that the Bible's weight would kind of push it off. All right. So now we are almost done. So I'm using the scissors to go back through any extra pieces that I see that I need to clean up. I'm just cutting off those extra pieces um, to try to make things as crisp as possible. And now I'm doing my favorite part, which is applying the tape. Applying the tape was my favorite part, especially because it was the end part, too. <laughs> So it was my favorite part. So after I let it sit on its spine for a, an entire day, then I went through and applied the tape. Now I struggled with it because I didn't want to cover up the design on the front, like those lines that were running through the front as much as possible. And I just was double checking that the tape was indeed, like it said, um, that it was going to allow me to keep opening, that it was going to be flexible. So I put a piece in the middle and um, again, I didn't want it directly in the middle because there were words on the spine that I was trying not to cover up either. So I put a piece in the middle and I put a piece on both of the ends, pressing things down, trying to make sure it's as best as possible. And now I am going to lay the tape and this was another part. Now I think I did end up having to cover the front the front part even though I didn't want to only because I needed the tape to be uh wide because the bible itself was so wide ideally you would want one piece of tape for the spine but because the bible was so wide I couldn't really do it that way so I used I had to use two pieces of tape I believe for the spine and I tried not to cover the words on the side but I couldn't save those pieces in the front although I really really wanted to save those two golden lines <clears throat> So yes, and I'm going to do the final piece of tape that is for the back. <clears throat> so I figured it'd be best to put all the tape on first and then kind of use that sharp cutting tool to clean up whatever was excess tape along the way. So I'm trying to push it down, get it as straight and straight as possible and using my thumb there as well. Just double check and I checked several times to make sure that everything was really flexible like I said it would be. Just had to fix 
to tape there and this was really really sticky which of course it should be so once you kind of messed up it was hard to unmess it up and i'm using a backup of plate to kind of sharpen that sharp tool so that little ring on the back of a plate is good for sharpening like scissors and things so i use that to sharpen it and as you can see i can easily just kind of cut off whatever was extra at the bottom and cut off whatever is extra at the top so i'm just using a sharp tool to go through and cut off anything i do not need but thank you so much for watching i hope you're enjoying don't forget to give me a thumbs up let me know if you all want more diy projects since it's summertime <laughs> hopefully i can get some more out depending on what i have to do um around the house or for someone else but yeah let me know what you think about it don't forget to comment down below don't forget to thumbs up subscribe share this video this of course works for bibles but it works for any of our hardback books that we are trying to fix and kind of repair the covers for so just being double sure that everything is cleaned up and then we have one more thing to do and that is to add the book binding tape to the center and again try not to cover up like the the numbers for um, the different pages, but I'm not sure if I can save those either because of the thickness of the tape. Now, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to certain things and I would have loved to have used white tape for this part so that it could blend in. Um, but like I said, some of this stuff was pretty expensive and they, the person I did this book for was like, you know, don't even worry about it. <laughs> but I would have loved to have used white tape because the white tape would have blended in uh, a lot more. But yeah, I put the tape on there, then I used the scissors to cut off any excess. So I did the front and I did the back, and this is just kind of to protect and cover that book binding cloth, but also, again, to just add an extra adhesive to keep the cover connected to the Bible, because that was the whole point of this repair, was to keep it connected. But yes, that is pretty much it, y'all. This took a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of setting overnight, but when I was done, I loved this so stinking much. But yes, oh, we are done. I'm just showing you what the final results look like. Here is the front. I'm just loving it. I love that black tape too because it was so like, I don't know, just so nice and professional looking. That's the side where I try to preserve the writings. And that is the back. And then, of course, for the millionth time, I'm going to open up the book and make sure that everything turns. But just showing you that, yes, indeed, it does all turn. So that they can still maneuver it, go through the scriptures, all that fun stuff. But yes, ma'am, we are done. I loved it. Look at my face, y'all. This was a lot of work. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but I loved it. So that is all that I have for you today, y'all. Again, it took two days to do. This was not an easy project. Um, and even like doing the research to find out what I needed and how to put it together and all of that fun stuff. But yeah, when it was done, I loved it and they loved it. And I'm just like, you better not put a cover on that Bible. <laughs> because that was a lot of work, but it really did come out really really nice so i hope that they enjoyed it thank you so much for tuning in again my name is tiana don't forget to give me a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe i do a bunch of things on this channel but i really do follow my micro lock journey hair care things like that um but i do do diy projects along the way if you're interested in any of that or you think anybody else is interested in any of that go ahead and share this video with them but again go ahead and subscribe yourself hit the bell so you get all the notifications <coughs> thank you so much for tuning in and i really do hope to see you the next one and until next time adios